In the world of hip hop, beefs have escalated to unfathomable heights. The biggest artists in the music industry square off with each other while record sales soar. Even with the knowledge of how violent some of these beefs can become, artists sensitive to the criticism and aware of how that criticism can affect their bottom line strike out on record or by other means. Regional artists in the South and Midwest who have had to fight especially hard for their respect have created their own style of beef. While artists contend with the pressures of fame, they now have the added strain. In a volatile, brave new world, they're trying to ensure their personal safety and that of the people around them. There's always, always going to be somebody to come over you and, step, and overstep your boundaries. A lot of people are going to do whatever it takes in order to make it. If that's how you feel, homeboy, then come out and say that to me. Don't shit on another nigga, man. Don't shit on him unless you ready to go to fucking war. If I didn't know that I could beat the shit out of a nigga when I saw him, or I ain't going to pull my pistol out, or it's, it's not a real legitimate street beef, then I wouldn't even engage in it. When you have beef, it's... it's... It's a problem. There's certain people that you can't even have a record beef with because it's going to turn into a street beef just because of the kind of person that they are. That's all it is. It's fucking music, bro. That's what's so fucking sickening about this shit. It's music. Real beef not going to be on wax. All that other shit, all that talking back and forth, that's just a gimmick. Niggas trying to sell records, and they need to leave that shit alone before they get somebody hurt. That's beef. It don't let up. It ain't no sleep. It ain't no resting with that shit. Fuck you now and fuck you later. It's beef three. Beef three.